everybody thinks when we have the urgency to breathe, right, that's the lack of oxygen, but it's really the buildup of CO2 in CO2. our body and how fast our body can offload it or maintain that level of CO2 buildup and still perform, right? And it has to do with like your lactate threshold as well, why you feel that pump coming on and you do that. So we train people to be aware of that, where that threshold is for your body and then see if we can push that a little bit more for your body and your cells to handle a little bit more CO2. For me, when I'm down underwater and I start to get those convulsions uh, or like the my diaphragm's contracting, I know that I'm at my halfway point. Mm. So for me, I'm like, okay, cool. I've probably been around underwater maybe for you know, 20, 30 seconds. I got a lot of work left to do and I need to space it out. Whether I can tell my mind to, hey, whatever positive mantra uh, we, you know, you want to tell yourself to keep calm. Like for me, for my way to stay calm is to put a song in my head. And my song has always been Oasis Wonderwall. Yeah, but that's like my song from the military. Like, hey, just calm down. You got a little bit more to go. You'll be fine. And kind of dealing with that. And that's really your body adapting to that CO2 tolerance at that exact moment that you're choosing to stay down there a little bit longer, right? Then you would want to come up right away for air. So continue to push forward and, and doing that.